I think cases are effective because they bring a reality to the classroom. They bring uh, situations where, uh, apart from the theory, you have much more complexity in the classroom. The case is a story. It's a story about real people. Sometimes you have to disguise it, but it's about real people in real situations, dealing with complex situations, dealing with complex situations in which they have a problem that might not be clearly defined. And that makes it very real. My own discovery of that case is very important. And if I can get my students to discover the issues in that case, as I have done, then it's working well. Then it starts to work in the classroom. So from a structural point of view, there's lots and lots of reading, rereading, taking notes. I always say, uh, when, I, when I give case sessions, you, they are, there are 20 questions you have to ask about a case. What are the 20 questions? What are the answers? And are you willing to listen to the answers that you have in the classroom so that you're not close to saying, I have the solution? You find a lot of case teachers say, there's only one solution, it's mine. I think the beauty of the case is you can listen to people who discover a completely new thing. Part of the thing is uh, you're in crowd control, so you're controlling a crowd of people in a room. Uh, the, the second thing is that you're focusing the issues that are important. So you're directing attention to various important issues. So over, a, over an hour and a quarter, you have to, if you believe there are five issues you've got to focus on, you've got to move attention to those by asking questions and having a discussion taking place. You don't want to have it too pre-planned about what's going to happen because depending on who you've got in the room and you're controlling, there's, some, there's a lot of excitement as a teacher when the room starts to spark and people, they get excited. Always raise the level of the discussion. So you might find in a discussion it's getting lower and lower, the level of the debate. So you have to raise the level of the debate all the time. In that way, you're a kind of referee, making sure that, that students are tackling this at, at a, 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 an intellectual level that is challenging for them. You, you teach manners and etiquette in a classroom that, so that students learn to deal with other students who have completely different ideas. I'm not in the business of people say, you're talking absolute rubbish and I'm right. What I want to do is create a situation where sometimes you feel you're right, but you need that person to understand what you're about and you have to be very well mannered. When you lecture, you give to the students. You say, this is what you should understand, this is what it's about. The case, they discover that. But basically, and discovery is much stronger than being given things. I think um, that you need to understand there is preparation, there is your knowledge and the structure of the case. But what overlays that is your ability to improvise in the classroom. And that ability takes a lot of uh, skill to get the most out of the class.